Hi, I'm Pam Mazuka Prebag. I'm a personal trainer, athletic therapist, and fitness writer. Today I'm going to be showing you a couple of exercises to help strengthen your hips. We're going to be targeting your glute med, which is this muscle right here. It's part of your glutes, which is your butt, but it's right at the hips here. These are really important if you do things like running, jogging, volleyball, anything where you're sort of on one leg at a time, or if you've ever had any sort of abdominal surgery or children, these are really good exercises to help tighten everything up and really strengthen your glute med, which will help keep any hip issues in bay. So first up, we're gonna come down onto your side. This is called a clam. So you can either position your head so that you're resting on your hand, or you can lie flat. I'm gonna prop my head up. You're gonna stack your legs so that your hips are leveled and your ankles and your knees are stacked. My knees are gonna be bent to about 30 degrees. I'm gonna squeeze my glutes and just lift. This isn't going to be a huge movement. If you can bring your leg all the way up, you're not doing it right. I'm gonna place my hand here to make sure I can feel this contraction. And it's not a big movement. So I'm just gonna lift up, hold it there, and come back down. By touching the muscle as well, it helps activate that muscle so you know that you're working the right ones. And this will give you that nice sexy dimple in your hips when you wear a bathing suit. And we'll do a couple more. Really squeeze that. It's a very small movement, very hard to get that contraction. And we'll do one more. Lift and really squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. And we can switch sides. So you're just going to roll over. So again, prop yourself up. Knees are bent to 30 degrees. My hips are stacked. My ankles are touching and I'm just going to place my hand on the actual muscle and I'm gonna lift up, squeezing it here and lower down. And you wanna make sure that your hips are leveled. You don't wanna be rolling back with it. So lift up, squeeze right there and down. And we'll do one more and hold it here and really squeeze it there, squeezing my butt, lower down, good. And next up, we're gonna grab an exercise band and come on to all fours. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook this around my foot. You wanna make sure it's secure because you don't want it snapping back at you. And then from there, it goes between, one end goes between my legs, the other one on the outside. I'm gonna wrap it around my hands. I'm just gonna place my hands on the ground. And you're gonna come up into tabletop. So I wanna make sure that my shoulder blades are apart, my hips are in neutral. And I'm just gonna lift that leg up off the mat. And I'm gonna kick back reaching as far as I can and bring it in. You want to control it and not let the band snap you back. So you're going to kick out, really squeezing your glutes as hard as you can and come back in. And back out. And this is a great exercise because it also works your core, which gives you a double bang for your buck. And back in and really squeezing my glutes together. It's a really hard contraction to get, but the harder you work at it, the more results you'll see. And we'll do one more, holding it out there, and then come in, and you're gonna switch feet. So I like to just sort of slide my other foot in to where the other foot was, and out it comes. Just be careful, you don't want that band snapping you. So again, shoulder blades are apart, my hips are neutral, you're gonna lift that knee off the ground and kick straight back. And again, when I'm doing this, I don't wanna be leaning too far to the side. I don't wanna be lifting my hips. I wanna to try to stay as still as possible, except for my leg. I really wanna look like a table. And back out. This isn't working your glute meat as much as it is just activating those glutes in general for you which is really important for pelvic stability. And we'll do last one and push out. You might shake a little bit, but that's good. And bring it back in. Good. So if you do these exercises three to four times a week, you'll have strong hips and a great butt in no time.